Hello. Oh, let me adjust that. Okay. Um, so this is a Friday reads, but I'm doing it on a Thursday. And I wanted to do that because yesterday was September 30th, and that was the date by which I had to have my classic spin for this quarter read, and I made it. I um, Last night about 11.30, I finished reading what I decided to read out of this book, the Oxford Illustrated Jane Austen Minor Works. Um, I had not planned to read the whole thing, and I didn't, but I read enough that I feel like I can say I read it. Um, I read a couple of the first stories, let's see, Frederick and Elfrida, and Jack and Alice, might have read more than that, Edgar and Emma. Um, these are all really short spoofs of, of romances, and she wrote them when she was about 12, and they're very broad in their humor, very silly, um, and they were all pretty, pretty similar. <laughs> Um, and then I went and read things, uh, titles that I thought I recognized. So I read Love and Friendship. And I might have read a little bit here and there of other stuff. I've already uh, read a lot of her, The History of England. Um, I started to read Evelyn, I think. And there's one called Catherine. But I didn't read that. And I didn't really read her letters. One day I'm really going to get to her letters. Um, but I read The Watsons. Which was, which was a fun read. It's just a very, very rough, um, undeveloped first draft. And then I wound up with Sanditon, which I really enjoyed, and I wish it had come out as a novel. It would have been really funny. It's about this kind of family of hypochondriacs that are trying to develop this seaside town so that people will come there for their health, for the sea bathing. And uh, I, I think it would have been a scream if she had finished writing it, really developed it. Um, so I enjoyed it, and I think I've read enough to say that I, yes, indeed, I did make my classic spin challenge for this quarter. So um, a couple of comments, though, about this edition. For one thing, it says Oxford Illustrated, but it was hard to find any illustrations in here. They put in four kind of very poorly copied, I mean, here's here's one. This was the best one. That was one illustration. Not really having anything to do with anything in the book. It's just a picture of children of about that time period. And then we have this. That's, uh, you know, what is this? The watering and sea bathing places. From Anyway, it, it's... It, they really did the bare minimum in order to put illustration in there. So I thought that was a little bit shoddy. Um, the other odd thing, and maybe somebody knows about this, but they have this, they did this thing where they, um, at the end of each page, they would stick an extra word at the bottom there. See that? And or, over here. And that would be the first word of the next page. And I wondered if they were like, if that's a facsimile of how they needed to do things for the typesetting, like where they would know the next page began or something, and why did they choose to keep up that little conceit when it wasn't really necessary. I found it strange that I wondered, what's it for? Um, and the other thing that was a little bit, and besides the fact that these are, these are short pieces and incomplete pieces, so it's not... You know, you can't get into the flow. You sort of just pick it up and read it. And well, When you were reading a particular story, like if I, when I was reading Sanditon, I got into it. But it's not that developed, and you knew, I knew, that it wasn't going to be like a real novel. Um, uh, but I did enjoy it. I thought it was quite funny and had good characters, a lot of potential for that one. But anyway, uh, so it's sort of, you know, it's not... It didn't feel like deep reading, you know, it's not like you fall into a novel and you're really in that world, immersed in that world. Um, but I am glad I read it. I feel like there was some other point I was going to make. Oh yeah, the way they do the, because it's a rough draft, they didn't actually um, break down the, the uh, conversation, so it's just all these dashes. So I found that a little bit hard to follow, to follow the conversation, because and there are a lot of abbreviations for things. Like the word would was W with a little D superscript and that sort of thing. So that was a little bit interesting, I guess, but a little bit hard to read at the same time. But anyway, I did finish my classic spin, so I'm very proud of myself for that. 
I'm also extremely excited for Victober, so happy Victober. Uh, even though I'm only going to attempt this book, I already read the first page. It's just gorgeous writing. Dickens just really, he could really write, couldn't he? I guess that's sort of, people know that, right? But I love that it started right off saying Michaelmas because when I was doing that autumnal book tag, I mentioned that the term Michaelmas, and of course, always makes me think of fall because it falls in fall. Um, but just really gorgeous beginning paragraph there. Um, so I'm excited about that. And I'm, I'm really intrigued by the uh, project that Kate Howe and lots of booktubers are doing where they have a choose your own adventure um, project going on. I'm really intrigued by that. So that's going to be a really fun thing to watch unfold. Um, so it's a fun, very creative project. So anyway, happy Victober. I think that's all I have to say for now. Um, this is my, my, I guess my reading update. And oh, I've decided there's, instead of doing Shakespeare Saturday, because September's over, and also I don't get a lot of views for the Shakespeare thing, so I've decided it's maybe it's just old and not that interesting. I'm going to take a break from it. But I have this collection of children's literature, um, really, you know, from Victorian times that I, my aunt gave me when I was 12, I think. And I think I'm going to, instead I'm going to do a Victorian Saturdays and I'm going to read from that because it has gorgeous illustrations and really quirky stuff like a lot of it's from religious texts that uh, missionaries took with them um, and that sort of thing. So it's really interesting, really intriguing and I think I'll share that on Saturdays. So anyway, happy Victober and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.